So, recession in 2019 or recession in 2020? Are we going to get a stock market crash or are we going to continue rebounding like we've done in January? I want to explore a way to think wealth differently, looking at our charts. And I'm going to look with you guys at the charts from 1919 to 1929, the Great Great Depression, compared to now 2019, 2029. And hopefully help you to think wealth differently. So. So far for the year, we had a great start of the year, you know, I posted the results on one account and this is not to impress you, but to press upon you that what we do in the Think Wealth Differently and the Day Trading Zones community is with real money, real account, showing the yearly profit and loss here with over 37, 36% of uh, net results when you uh, subtract the commissions, $10,521 right and uh on uh, 35,000 net liquidation value so you subtract that plus the commissions so now that we had that great january rebound from a uh, stock market crash that happened uh, between october and december which if you go in previous youtube video we called it on october the 5th a couple of days before the crash started accelerating for the next eight weeks after that. We called also the rebound. You can look on our YouTube video and especially our Instagram accounts where we post daily everybody. And you can see there was a couple of posts just before Christmas at Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. And we had posted here right there. See, Merry Christmas. Just right now it's time to buy and we started buying and you can look at some of the positions we had. So urge everybody if you want daily updates on the stock market investing, options trading for income and growth uh, to uh, go into our Instagram account because we do those YouTube videos a couple of times a week. So when you look at the stock market crash, I want to make a comparison, everybody. So first, let's, let's define what a recession is. So a re recession is a temporary period with an economic decline during which trade and industrial activity are reduced and generally identified by a drop in the GDP for two consecutive quarters. Okay? Now, an interesting thing here is they said the average recession lasts about 22 months. Okay? So about two years, right? So now I want to go and look at the charts with you. And it's always about the charts. Charts, 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 charts. So, here is a chart. And I, I don't know why. I, a couple of days ago, I was telling my uh, live mastery trading group that I wanted to compare the charts from 100 years ago. I wanted to know exactly what happened from 1919 to 2000, uh, 1929 before the Great Great Depression. And this is a chart that I found. And look int how interesting it is. And I found out this chart to be fascinating. You know, if you go back 100 years ago, look what happened. You look at about 2019 here, guys. And look here at the double top. There was a double top. There was a drop in the market, right? Of about, they went about from 1500 to 900 there. So uh, about 35% drop from the top. And then look what happened. And that would be like around the elections to, uh, if you look now, and then boom. Then there was a 10 years, nine years, incredible uh, uh, rally, incredible expansion. So I really want to press upon you, you know, uh, a way to think wealth differently. Why not look at the charts from then, you know, 100 years ago. It's pretty cool to kind of have an idea here because that would tell you. So if we go a little more granular, you see that the March 
to July 1919 was a problem and then it started topping minus 35 percent and then this incredible rebound after July 2021 so that confirms two things then that was about the two years recession or that was the two-year drop and then incredible rebound so I don't know if this is going to be the case scenario but I want to press upon you that it is an interesting chart to look for to see the parallel of the stock market crash and the recession of 1919 to 1921 and then the rebound until 1929 when we got the Great Depression. I think it's an interesting parallel to look at and we are going to look at also other charts, the 2001 drop and the 2008 drop but I thought it was really cool to look at this because the million dollar questions for us right now in 2019 for a recession 2019-2020 the trade war with the Chinese you know the debt ceiling uh, um, and so many other factors here on the fundamental side you know uh, student debts and so many others right that hey is this going to happen when you know the China if the China stuff fell down could it bring us for a March to July top right Everybody it talks about recession 2020. Well, either it's going to be before or it's going to be after. But I never like when I see the media pinpointing something. It never happens the way the media tells you, right? But I think what is uh, helping us traders and investors, you know, that trade for long-term investing and also for income like I do, is to really look at parallel in history like we are looking at. So this March to July, I would be extremely careful, everyone. Now, another thing that is important for everyone to understand is market cycles. Before I go back to the chart of 2001 and 2008, is that you understand in September, we were here, September 18. A lot of euphoria, the VIX, which is the fear factor, was very low, right? And now after the drop in uh, october and december we are kind of here guys between the anxiety and the denial phase where we are rebounding plus 15 percent so we have had something uh, uh, strange here in that potential recession 2019 2020 versus a stock market crash that started at the end of 2018 and will it the stock market crash continue for 2019 2020 because look we had a plus 15 percent rebound in january which is the biggest rebound we've ever seen since uh 1987 so for the past 31 years 31 years this is the st strongest january but what's funny is the december we got in 18 is the weakest <laughs> it is the weakest January since 1931. So the market is telling you something. You have one of the weakest December with one of the strongest January. The market doesn't know where to go there. It's like completely uh, upside down. So I say that it is very important you look that March. What will happen with the Chinese negotiation to the July 2019? This is where there will be a tipping point and uh, something happening. Okay? And this is where you need to be very careful of the parallel of the charts of 1919-1921. And after that, where well, after two years of a downturn, could be a fantastic up move in the market. And then another blow up, completely flush in 1929. Who knows? 2029, you know. But for now, I'm focusing all my energy on knowing that the market is going to go through a very difficult time through a, a, a potential stock market crash between March 2019 to July 2019, or possible acceleration of a recession. You know, it is possible. I'm going to be neutral, so neutral long. You know, I think the market has a little bit more juice to go up, and I'll give you some support and resistance to help you, you know, on looking at the charts from now. But first, I want to look at the charts 
from um, 2008 and 2001. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so now we are looking at the charts from 2001 when we had the drop, 2000, the internet uh, blow up and the housing blow up. And I want you to look at a couple of things and I want you to just think about this so that you can start preparing, right? and really learning about market cycles and really be prepared you know because at the end of the day um, and i'll give you some resources for market cycles okay at the end of the day is for you to make the right uh, asset mix and diversification proper diversification to help you you know it's by no means being a psychic although if you look at our october 5th with our full pro tool and our software and our uh, community and the December 24th call, we were right on. But it doesn't mean we will always be right on. It means that I want to start a departure point of discussion, of an intelligent, hopefully, discussion to help you and help you make some moves and some asset allocations. So, in 2002, started having here uh, the drop here. See, we were going up, we were going up, we were going up. And if you notice, we made a shoulder, we made a head, right? And we took a quite a bit of a long time to finish our right shoulder, left shoulder. So from the top here, like, so from the left shoulder, let's say, it started in December 99, and the right shoulder was uh, September 2000. So almost a year after. So let's remember this. Left shoulder to right shoulder, one year. In 2007 let's go to the other charts now we go 2008 we are looking at the same principle left shoulder right shoulder the left shoulder started in July 2007 started accelerating accelerated in November but let's say kind of a rebound here in December so July to December it's about uh, six months so six months to a year so now fast forward so fast forward, I'm looking here, left shoulder, January 2018. And that would put me at January 2019, which is the uh, uh, end of January. And now we are February. So already, see, already the pattern is not there. We have not completed that shoulder. And right now I have a range, by the way, in which we can all play ping pong for the next couple of weeks until the trade, uh, the Chinese trade resolution happen, which is a 2630 area on the ES to the 27, uh, 2705. So this 2705, I'll write it down to help you, as that can help you for the next couple of weeks, right? To the 2630 is going to be critical. And then we could break, and if we break, then you go... You go above 2735, 27, uh, what is that, 2770, right? So let me write that down on the upper target if we break, 2735, 2770. And I have also a couple of equal high here, this high, this high, this high, this high here, this high, this high, which is 2810. And then you have the head and shoulder there that is 2875. So you see, we have a lot of space left to complete even a shoulder, you know, to go back up, to get out of this caution zone 2705 and 2630 and push forward towards the 2730, 2770, 2810, 2875. And I think it will happen eventually, especially if there is some uh, a subdue uh, resolution or some type of a resolution that is somewhat neutral with the Chinese talk, but you got to be careful of the ping pong now because we had an amazing January and we might have another ping pong, you know, before we break higher and make higher lows and higher highs. But I think the, pr the, 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 really the hit, the, 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 the truth is going to come here. Are we going to be able to take the head and shoulder 2875 and the 2810 area, you know, as we, come back to resistance you know or even a 3100 I mentioned if we take the shoulder but then that could be that's it the mother of all drop 
at least maybe for two years. And as we showed you on the comparative charts at the beginning of this video, with 1918, uh, 1919 to 1929, you know, it could drop 35%, then have a huge rebound, and that could last many years. On the other one, lasted 10 to nine years, right? And then boom, drop again. So I think it's super important to learn the cycle, respect your charts, your support, your resistance, because at the end, everything is in your chart. You know, the truth, the truth, the truth will be in your chart. But do not ignore the cycles. You know, I urge you to buy, you know, now the beauty is uh, knowledge, it's cheap. Uh, uh, it's all about also repeating stuff till they become second nature as a trader, as an income trader, a long term investor like we are. But look, urge you to buy this book on Amazon from Howard Marks, one of the founder of Oak Tree Capital to master the market cycles. Then a little bit more deep reading is the big debt cycles from Ray Dalio, you know, and, and try to understand market cycles, guys. They will tremendously help you in your life, you know. So again, stock market crash in 2019 between March or July remain to be seen as we will rebound and towards those shoulder levels. So we have a little more space to go back up at one point here. And also about a recession. Do we have a recession 2019-20? Now it's all over the news. Each time I see stuff all over the news, I'm a little bit doubtful that it happens. It will depend on the Chinese resolution and a lot of other factors. But everything will be on your charts and everything will be in those levels that I just gave you. So hopefully it will help you. You know, it is my hope that this video helps you for the next couple of weeks, couple of months. As always, if this video is helpful to you, smash the like button, be engaged with comments. And also do not forget when you subscribe to the channel to hit the ring. There's a ring somewhere and you click it if you want to have those videos to be the first people to get those videos in a timely fashion. Also, if you want to learn to trade real money, real account and think well differently, do not forget in the description below, you will find uh, a link to get into our 14 days trading, uh, free trading. It's absolutely free for 14 days. You get video on the processes that we do and stuff that we do and how you should think about your wealth creation, investing in the stock market in the options trading and understand better how our tools can help you also make more intelligent decisions. And there's also a free webinar there. Looking forward to seeing you on the other side of the tools and the free training. You take care, everybody. Stay safe.